first ride of 2022 and uh, I'm headed to Hot Springs taking the back way currently on Canis Road which will come out in uh, Perrin, Arkansas decided to take the back way try to maybe get a little bit of of scenery instead of the interstate all the time, the main highways. And when we get to Perrin, we'll decide to go from there. See, now that's over that there, you spend a bus stop for uh, school buses. And that's why I was kind of talking about telling my age, but when I was a kid, we had to walk to the bus stop to catch the school bus. and. Nowadays, they stop at every driveway, so the kids don't realize how well they got it made to ride the bus. It's like out here, old homes with new homes. They really got new homes, and look at this one. see that a lot over Arkansas. I don't know why, but that van reminds me of Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> or Lloyd and Harold are driving. Oh, 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 oh. We got a, had an ice storm a few days ago, or, and then the last uh, three or four days, temperatures risen and today it's yesterday and day it's going to be up in the 60s and um, I thought most of the stuff would have been melted by now but it's still still spot so you definitely got to be careful and watch for it you know I guess in the shade where the sun don't get it too good it's still still some ice today right now it's 70 degrees and it's uh, the end of January, 2022. So we went from below freezing several days last week to uh, in the 70s this week. But I'm not complaining. It's perfect for uh, riding a motorcycle. Another rider. No wave. I say this, yeah, this, this, this is my first ride 2022. I'm gonna say my, uh, when I'll, I filmed my uncle on the prayer wagon and uh, I advise everybody to follow him on Facebook at the prayer wagon slash Tim Ford and he's riding that wagon. He's on his circum, or circle the nation and you know, praying for our nation. Um, and I did take my TW200 down there the 1st of January and spent a week with him and filmed him for my bike and stuff. So I guess technically that was the first ride of 2022, but this is the first ride on the Africa Twin for 2022. He, the, my uncle though, he, he left from Wilton, Arkansas, which is southern part of Arkansas, and uh, he's currently in Louisiana, and soon he'll be crossing the Arkansas River at uh, I mean, excuse me, the Mississippi River at Natchez, Mississippi. But uh, if you want to check out my link, I try to remember to leave a link in the description. It's called The Prayer Wagon for the video I shot. And like I said on Facebook, just follow him at The Prayer Wagon dash Tim Ford. Lean County. been on on Canis Road in a long time whoa watch it but uh it's really grown I remember a friend of my dad's lived out here and uh years ago he passed away now the friend the friend is but uh wasn't nothing out here back then 
about it. I don't know. Arkansas is growing though. I mean, everywhere you go, there's houses, new housing developments. Take it easy. Yeah, it looks like either they didn't get quite as bad or it's mostly melted up, up this way. There's still some patches I see, but. I had to kind of slow down on uploading videos and, and uh, you know, and I've had to set a lot going on with work and family. And, uh, I'm hoping this spring to start getting to ride more and, and video more. I know I've been promising a lot of you a part two to the uh, White Lightning filming locations, and uh, I hadn't gotten around to, or yeah, I haven't had the time to actually go out there and video it. But I'm hoping this spring to have more time to get there and get it done. I like to update it. Uh, one of the scenes, my video's in the wrong location. The first, not the first scene, but the one where I said Sam Meyer found out that's actually was supposed to be in England, Arkansas. So uh, I'd update that. I did find out, if you're familiar with the movie Dude's Place, the mechanic shop and his house still exist. I didn't know it. Uh, I had a viewer uh, find, I actually find that for me. I was looking on the wrong street. So that'll be updated. And there's a place or two in Pine Bluff to uh, check out. So anyway, I'm, I'm hoping to have that soon. Probably pairing, so we'll sign off for just a minute. Figure out where we're going next. All right, this should take us to Highway Seven. So hopefully the road don't get worse than this. I thought we'd do a little off road today. Kind of looks like it should be a decent gravel road most of the way because I don't I'm not looking for anything technical, especially being here by myself. Now this should be taking us through the Washita National Forest. Yeah. Alright, we're going through some mud. Hopefully we don't. Uh, that wind is too bad. Hopefully it don't get too much worse. Might have to come out here sometime and camp, motor camp, something. I've been thinking about that for a while, but just haven't, like I said, it's like everything else, just haven't had time to really do it. Right. That stuff right there, it ain't bad, but you know, I, this bike is heavy, so if you slip and slide and drop it, it's heavy to pick up. And that little TW200 of mine, I don't mind going through stuff like that because, you know, that thing ain't no problem picking up. And the big old fat tires go through it anyway. But right now the the Apple Twins handling it good. Of course it's not really technical. It's nice to get out here. I'm sure on the weekend there'll be more people through the week. And 
nice to kind of have the road yourself for a little bit. I've been thinking about it when I have time, like I said, either uh, moto camping out here or even uh, just bringing my truck, camping out of my truck. Oh, come the log truck. I got some, uh, I think it gets a little warmer, I may, I don't want too warm, but a little bit warm to try off the bike. It's like bring, you know, you pack light. But uh, I got some other equipment, camp equipment I'd like to try out, but I'd have to bring it in the truck because there's so much of it. I'm thinking about doing it in the near future. Um, we, we've, I've sold my fifth wheel and I've got a rim 2500. And I'm thinking about putting a uh, camper shell on the back of it. Put me a little cot back there and kind of camping out of that. But just like everything else, I've checked on it, and there's a uh, about a four month wait on it. Whew. So far we're doing good, but. Mm. Well, I hope I'm going right. Hold on, I'm going to check the map. And get up here out of the mud a little bit. Wasn't planning on the thing splitting on me quite like that. And according to that, we're still going right. Shouldn't be any more splits. All right. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, see what we got here. Mm. Eh, not bad. Uh. Shaded spots were still kind of wet. It looked like maybe even some ice still on the road, but yeah, just like this. Ooh, mm, this is ice. Still some ice and snow. You got the ice and snow, and then you got the mud. Slip slide a little bit through here. Boy, it's getting worse. I thought it'd get better. Oh, we still got a little ways to go, too. Mm. Chop sign right here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, we're slipping and sliding now. I'm paying attention to the road. If y'all see the light come on trash control, let me know. I don't want to look down and see if it's kicking on or not. Try to pay attention to the road. Oh, oh yeah, there. Almost. Almost lost it there. I know some of you out there are a lot better rider than I am. You're probably thinking, man, that ain't nothing. But, you know, I'm, you know, I know it's an adventure bike, but I don't get off road just a whole lot on it. And you may ask, well, why do you have an adventure bike? Well, I like the ability to go off road if I decide to. Now, some of them other rides are. Or, uh, like Harley's and all that, and 
gold wings are more comfortable. I know. But you can't go off road with them. Well, this one, uh, now that I put that Corbin seat on it, it rides to me just as good as one of those and comfortable. So, you know, I mean, it, there's sometimes there's gravel roads that I want to try out and just to see where they come out. But maybe not so much, uh, not so much a uh, like trail ride and stuff. That I don't. This right here is about technicals I get. Like I said, now the TW, I probably do. I do some trail riding on it, but I'm just uh, getting too old to try to pick something that's heavy up. Oh my goodness! This is like all the way down here. <laughs> Going down a steep hill. I don't know if you probably can't tell it on camera. Just sliding down a steep hill is not fun. No bridge. Oh. A lot of water in it. Sorry, we got the sun in the in our eyes. I, I don't know what it is. It might go when I ride. I was riding the wrong direction. Uh, oh, 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 oh! There she went. Almost. I got a little better. I remember when I first bought this thing, I, I wouldn't even attempt to uh, gravel road, period. Not even a regular gravel road. So I just said, you know, you got to build your confidence up a little bit. You know, you still, but still be respectful of it. And have a little bit of, as long as you got a little bit of fear, you're good. You ever get too brave where you don't fear nothing on these things, and that, that's when you might be in trouble. That don't look good at all. Yeah, hopefully we don't have much more of this. Yeah, oh, oh, we're sliding. I need to check the map uh, to see how far we got to go. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I know people are laughing at me, but. Recently, uh, there's a guy on YouTube, he called Dork in the Road, and uh, he had an African twin, and he sold it, he got a KLR, and uh, he just said that he had bought that bike before he was ready for it, and that the, uh, every time he'd ride technical stuff, he, he couldn't really have fun because he'd worry about dropping it, because he knew that bike was so heavy, too heavy to pick up. And I can see that, I understand that, but... I don't want to get rid of my bike, but then again, I mean, he, I think he lives up in Oregon and more mountains and more off-road. You know, like I said, mine, I'm, I'm on road probably more than well, I am off-road, so I like it. I probably won't get rid of mine. But you never know, but uh, right now, it, it, it suits my needs just fine. Oh, it's so pretty out here. A lot of times, uh, a lot of these gates are open out here. You can ride, but it's game and fish must have them all. Or the, not game and fish, but the National Forest Service must have them 
lot for some reason, I guess. Well, we're getting close to the end of hunting season, so maybe that's maybe that's why. that one a little bit too fast I will say you couldn't ask for a more perfect day to come out and ride mm -hmm. oh stop <laughs> all right I gotta take a break be back with you shortly I'm back at you. So, uh, still in the Washita National Forest. Uh, we should be coming out for long on uh, scenic Arkansas Highway 7, and we're gonna take that down through Hot Springs Village and down on into Hot Springs. And uh, I'll probably find a place somewhere by the end to switch out the battery on this GoPro. I don't know how much, I'm not sure how much longer we got left on it. <laughs> 